Hey, it's me, Zonovan. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing fantastic myself. I'm having a great time playing this game. If you're having a great time watching along with me, whether you're playing along, just watching along, or just a distraction, I'm just playing in the background, I don't know, but please consider liking and subscribing. But with any case, let's get straight into the video. So, in uh, this video, and uh, hey dragon, please don't do anything, that would be uh, a little annoying, please, I'm begging you. In this video, uh, or what I plan to do as of right now, how much of it I'll show on video, I'm undecided. As to whether or not I'll even show any of it, but uh, use butter churn. What? I have never. I, I that must be anniversary edition or something. I've never ever seen something like that. I, <laughs> that's insane to me. Okay, yeah, I uh, I plan on making a better bow and some and enchanting some light armor just because we have and here's where I put all my good stuff or just basically everything where I just drop everything. I plan on making some light armor, enchanting it with, you know, the sneaky stuff that we all love and desire and want. And then I also plan on making a better bow. Now, the uh, the uh, the uh, thing I'm talking about here uh, in terms of how much I'll show is just because of like... Like you guys have seen me do this stuff before where I've edited it, I've edited it, I've edited it, I've put it in the video, <laughs> I've put it in the video and you guys have seen it and I don't think you guys are necessarily going to think I'm doing something shady or whatever, I feel like you guys would probably trust me because, I don't know, I feel like I've portrayed myself to be pretty, pretty dang trustworthy thus far, at least in my opinion at this point by trying to make sure I include everything that means anything in the playthrough. And, uh, yeah, I just don't feel like I want to, you know, essentially waste your guys' time by another few videos, which would just be more slog videos of me enchanting light armor and getting a good bow and whatnot. So I'm thinking, I'll just see us on the other side. And it's going to be a, a, bit of a, a bit of a journey for me, but for you guys, it'll be a blip. So I'll see ya when we get there. Ookily dookily guys, I am back and boy oh boy am I excited to get this going. So, I've made a few realizations while I was doing this. First of all being I had to go to Hendraheim and collect my working set of armor, which is this. If you guys can remember, this uh, leather, the leather armor set was my working set of armor with the gold emerald ring, yada yada yada. I also took the liberty of forging some dragon scale, a dragon scale armor set, just because I wanted to go dragon scale. I had the Daedric mail armor set, and I was like, wow, this looks cool, but there's no light armor helmet variant for it. So I was like, ah, I'm just going to give it a miss. I'll just go a full set of dragon scale light armor, because that's pretty cool anyways. And uh, this is the realization I came across. So... All of these enchantments, and this is something I already knew, but I didn't think it would work to this, like, insane degree. So, obviously, all my enchantments are inherently more powerful, also because I am a vampire and I have the Necromage perk, which makes everything, on top of whatever percentage bonus I get better, 25% of that percent of the enchantment is improved again. So... Weapons and armor can be improved 27% better, for example, there's actually an extra 25% applied to that 27%. So it's not so it's not like 25% plus 27% and then I've got a total of 52% better, but it's an additional 25% of the 27%, if you get what I mean. And that happens for the Gold Emerald Ring, so created potions are 27% more powerful, yada yada yada. This, 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 this and this. So created potions, everything. Everything is essentially just better. So when I uh, put that to the test essentially, so I already made this whole set and I enchanted it and everything. And then when I went over to go make a potion of fortify smithing, I saw something absolutely insane. And I realized that with this necromage perk, I can make better alchemy potions. And so I went ahead and took the liberty. So my previous alchemy potions for enchanting were 27% better. With the uh, with all of the new things on, they are twenty eight percent better. But that's twenty eight percent plus the twenty five percent I have now. I believe that rounds it out to thirty five percent. So when I actually take this, it'll be thirty five percent better in my active effects, 
and the Fortify smithing is just insane. That's 112%. With the 25% applied to that, it makes it 141%. Now, I'll quickly see if I can show you guys. Sorry, I'm just over-encumbered. It kind of comes with the, the nature of this uh, sloggy kind of stuff. So, uh, where is it? Fortify enchanting. Now, I go bang and then bang. For 30 seconds, items enchanted are 28% stronger. So that's, again, better than the original. Um, no, wait. It's not that one. It's that one. Uh, in any case, 28% better. Just before it was showing me 35% better. Uh, oh, no. That was before my fatigue and everything went down. So if I... Okay. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, I'll go up. And I will have a sleep, and I'll have some stuff to eat, and I'll make myself all, you know, nice and nourished and happy and whatnot. Oh my goodness, it has been... <laughs> it has been so powerful getting around this house, being over-encumbered. Let me just assure you guys of that. Oh my goodness, okay. Just, one, just a few more seconds, we'll get up there, and then I'll get back down... And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Because obviously, we have that active effect being in survival mode now. Fatigue is up and all that kind of stuff. Where the actual... Because I, I walked away and went to the toilet. had a toilet break and kind of just left it unpaused for a good for a good chunk of time. While I got some stuff done and that's why it's all gone down. So if I do this, get myself a good sleep. Yes, yes, yes. Love to see it. And then I make myself eat some food. I've also had a good amount of time to sort out my whole inventory. So we're not carrying around so much junk like I was. Like I, I put a bunch of stuff in that chest, in that cupboard, in that chest. Or actually, I took all the ingredients out of that chest for the alchemy. But I'm going to put them all back in uh, before I finish up. And essentially, I'm just, I'm just now that I have this working set of armor, just already like it, the, the initial slog is getting all this stuff set up. But once you have all the ingredients in a chest that you can just go grab, you have a working set of armor you can just put on whenever you want to make stuff and all that. And you've already like maxed out things like smithing and stuff. So making sets of armor isn't an issue. It really is fun kind of just like just just being a little bit min maxi with this. But in any case, so we've eaten all the food. We've got our fatigue up, all that good stuff. Now, when I do this, it should show the correct thing. Actually, it should just show it in the potions now. Because at first, I was like, well, why is that not showing properly in the potions? So, it should just show it in the potions now. There we go. Fortify, enchanting, 35% stronger. And the smithing, 141% stronger. And that is because also, obviously, we have the Necromage perk, which just makes this stuff insane. <gasps> And I didn't even I didn't even factor that into how insanely strong some of this stuff would be. I did not even factor it in until just now, basically. Until like I literally just made the whole set of dragon scale armor. I enchanted it. And then I was like, okay, now I'll go and improve this. I wasn't even gonna cut you guys in, I was just gonna show you guys the end product, but I just thought I'd show you just how insane this is. So yeah, I made all the dragon scale stuff, I enchanted it all. And with the enchantments I wanted, you guys will see what those enchantments are in a sec. We are going to be insanely powerful and just strong, by the way. <laughs> and then I went over to get the Fortify Smithing Potion going, and I saw it was at 141%, and I was like, hang on a second. So I can make a new potions now that I have the Necromage perk, and these potions will be just monumentally stronger than the previous ones. <gasps> yeah, sign me up for that right now. So yeah, that's what's just happened. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna cut away again for you guys now, get all the stuff done, and then you guys will see the end product. And here's just a quick cut in here to show you guys. So yeah, indeed, once I take that uh, potion, which is supposed to be 35% stronger, and you guys are about to see these insane enchantments soon. They are literally insane. Once I take that potion that um, is supposed to be 35% stronger, then the effect in my active effects is applied as a vampire. The uh, uh, all spells and things are 25% more effective against undead, against characters that are undead. And because I'm flagged as undead, because I'm a vampire, obviously the 35% effect has an additional 25% of that 35% added on top which brings our enchanted items and enchantments out to 43 percent stronger so i'm just about to finish up here and i'll show you guys the end result once we've also improved the armor out of sight we are going to be <laughs> it's going to be insane just one second and here we are guys we are at the end and i just wanted to show you guys really really quickly 
what these potions are doing, okay? So, I have the leather armor, and obviously, again, this is affected by the Necromage perk. I think on the armor itself, it only says 27%, but then it's plus the 25% applied to that 27%, which gives me a total of 33%, yada, yada, yada. You guys have already seen that, and that's everything that's here. Fortify smithing, fortify smithing, fortify smithing, fortify smithing, fortify smithing. It's all fortify smithing, all right? But this top one... The one just above my cursor here. That is the effect that's applied by taking the potion. And the potion is the 141% better. Alright? Now, have a look at what it is with the Necromage perk applied. 176% better improvements. This, this set of armor is going to be god tier. It is going to be so good, and I'm so excited to see how it all turns out. Okay, I'll get you. I'll cut you guys back in because I've got to focus. I've got to. I've got to focus for these moments to make sure I'm getting the. You know, obviously working with them in the time limits, and I'm getting. I'm squeezing as much juice out of these potions as I can. So just one second, and I'm going to be right back with you. And here we have it, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to show you guys this. I have been. It has been so long. Even, even even though it's made easier because I've got the whole armor set thing set out, I've got all the ingredients I could ever want, like I'm well established in the game, in the playthrough, so it's still somewhat easier, but survival mode, man, it still gets you. I've still got a while I'm running around doing this. It's taking forever to travel from Hendraheim back to Golden Hills Plantation and whatnot, just to see if I've put something somewhere, if I've put it somewhere else, and that little grievance of survival mode and... All that kind of stuff in the weather and making sure I'm asleep and making sure my stats are at 100 before I take some of these potions because otherwise I'm not going to get anything out of them or I'm not going to get, you know, the maximum amount of juice out of the squeeze, if you know what I mean. So <laughs> it's been it's been a little while, but I am excited, so excited to show you guys what it is I have accomplished in this little uh, this little time that I've had to myself. Not only, uh, not only for the arm, but also just sorting out my inventory. I've dropped all the useless junk we were carrying. By golly gosh, we were carrying heaps of it. But in any case, without further ado, let's get right into our new beautiful looking armor set. So, first, actually, no, before the armor set, I want to show you this bow. This this whole weapons enchanting thing. Now, as I said, I'm not one to exploit and min-max. And I, I know the whole fortified restoration glitch, yada, yada, yada. I'm not really interested in doing that. But the way I think the stats have been boosted here is about as legit as you can get it before it dabbles in the area of exploitation. Because all I've done is I've put the strongest enchantments I could on my working sets of armor. Which could be stronger, by the way, because now I've got even stronger potions. I could make remake my working set of armor, but there's just no need. Like, we're that strong, there's just no need. I'm not even going to bother. So we've got all that, and now I want to show you guys this insane bow. So I've I already had a dragon bone bow that I found in one of my chests that I must have looted. I think I got it from one of the keepers actually in the soul can. That's probably where I got it from. And I just decided, hey, before instead of making a brand new bow, I'm just going to take this one and I'll do it up. All right. Now look at this. Boom. And <laughs> the original base damage of this thing is 25. It now has a damage of 256 with the enchantments, burns the target for 67 points, targets on fire take extra damage, and target takes 67 points of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. Now, the only way this could be even more crazy is if I got the chaos enchantment, which I could get from disenchanting the champion's cudgel, but I don't really want to, so I'm not going to. But that's the only way this could be even more insane because then that Chaos Enchantment would have 67 points across the board as it does here, but it would count as one enchantment. And the only way it gets better from there is if you have all three of those and then you can add whatever you want. I believe there's also another enchantment in Solstheim you can get called um, Soul Trap of Fiery Souls or something like that. And you can add that on and it just becomes mon it just becomes monumental. The base, the damage this thing does now without the enchantment by itself is insane it's just absolutely insane but now let's get on to the armor so i've got all dragon scale light armor which i'm to be honest it's gonna it's seeing this armor now and what it's doing for me i don't even know if i want to switch back to the heavy armor we'll have to see how the game and the playthrough goes but look at this so we've got we'll start it from the top 
the Brawler's Dragon Scale Gauntlets. Fit bows do 50% more damage. Pickpocket success is 50% better. I don't think I'm even going to need a save scum anymore for pickpocketing, <laughs> to be honest. And the armor rating is 115. Absolutely mental. Dragon Scale Armor. Armor rating 200. We're, we are above the armor rating cap, by the way, I'm pretty sure. I think the armor rating cap is like 580 or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. But in any case, increases your health by 77 points and destruction spells cost 30% less to cast. Now, this one isn't as sneaky type as it could have been, but that's just because the enchantments on the armors don't really offer for don't really offer for things like that so i was like okay we're now doing light armor hey what could i do with more of even though my armor rating is going to be insane why not health why not <laughs> why not health and then the destruction spells cost 30 percent less to cast that again is just because you know if i ever need to fall back i'll still be able to do my infinite elemental uh elemental blast uh spells not infinite i don't think maybe not infinite but pretty close to it they won't cost much at all and then we have the Dragon Scale Boots. Oh my goodness. So this is pickpocket, pickpocket success 50% better and carrying capacity increased by 46 points. Now bear in mind also that all of these active effects are again, these aren't even the max. These are again boosted by the Necromage perk as I've said multiple times. So if, when, if I went into active effects and sussed all these out individually, we'd get the actual thing. But... I'm just going to show you the armor itself because the armor without the Necromage perk is insane. So we've got 50% better pickpocket again, fortify carry weight by another 46 points. The helmet bows do 50% more damage. Destruction spells cost an extra 30% less to cast. So now that's 60% less to cast on destruction spells. Plus the Necromage perk is probably sitting around 70, 75%, I would say. And then gold diamond necklace. Pickpocket success is 50% better. Sneaking is 50% better. And then gold diamond ring, sneaking is 50% better. Pickpocket success is 50% better. And then obviously we have the mage backpack with bedroll, carrying capacity increased by 75 points and increases your magicka by 20 points. And while we're doing all that, I did a little sneaky look up on my phone while I was reading everything. And the armor cap isn't 580, it's 567. So we're already past the armor cap. I don't even need to invest any perks in the light armor skill tree because it literally will not improve our light armor at all. Okay, it will not improve our armor rating at all because we are already past this skill cap for the armor rating. But oh my goodness, look at this. And there's still so many things I want to do. What I'm really keen to do is look at because just because we've been in Solstheim and away from here for so long, another thing I really want to do is go and see Ilya, wherever she is, and just see how much gold we've accumulated. Because I feel like I've been away for a lot of in-game time. But let's run out into the open. Let's wait a little bit, hey? It's a bit dark. So let's let's wait a little bit. Boom. We'll just zip past that. Hey, guys. Hey, Ilya. I'm about to talk to you in a second. No, not just yet. And then zoom out. Look at us, and I love the scale brawler gauntlets. They're just so big and bulky. And now let me get my bow on my back as well. Where are you, you beautiful thing? There we are. We are decked out. We cannot be any better. I love this so much. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, now I want to quickly go into the perks. I'm just going to quickly have a look at the light armor perks to see if there's literally anything that I want to invest in or if we're just going to like level up light armor. So increase armor rating for light armor by 20%. As I said, these are all completely useless. We are already at the armor cap. 25%, yep, useless. We're already at the armor cap. Light armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn. I mean, that's okay, but... It's light armor. It doesn't really weigh anything anyway. Um, yep, another 25% armor bonus. Don't need that. Stamina generates 50% faster in all in all light armor. Something like that could be okay in death movement. 10% chance of avoiding all fall damage. Of all 10% of avoiding all damage, not fall damage, from a melee attack while wearing all out. So I mean that and then that and that are like the only things in this entire tree that we will find useful and I'm not going to bother spending the perks to get them because we don't really even need them. That also being said, because like we've got things like sneak. Our sneak is just insane now. Our sneak is absolutely mental now because of the uh, percentage better it is. And like, let me have, I just want to quickly look mm -hmm. like if I want to pickpocket Ilya, like what are these percentages? They're all just 90%. Everything uh, aside from that, I guess. But basically everything across the board is 90% or like very high percent chance to steal. 
Um, geez, Ilya, you are you literally are carrying so much of my stuff, <laughs> and I have to pickpocket it from you if I want it back. But I don't really want it back, so it doesn't bother me too much. Oh my god, I'm just so happy. Okie dokie. So we're gonna jump out of this, and let's quickly talk to Ilya before we do anything else. Hello, Ilya. I'm here to collect the plantation's profits. Now, I don't know what this is going to be. This could be like 5,000, 10,000. This could be something ludicrous because, as I said, I have not been here in a long time. So, I'm here to collect the plantation's profits. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. Now, how much was... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 42,000 gold mm -hmm. septums. My goodness. It's just impossible for me to be poor in this game now. I already had like 38,000 septums. And like it for some reason, no matter what I did, no matter what I bought, it just wasn't going down from there. But now let's look, we're back up at 81,000 just because I've been away for so long. And now I'm back. <laughs> I'm loving this. We are just in such a good position. It is just... It, we have no business being so powerful. Like, oh my goodness. Literally, this bow as well... I don't even think with... Let me quickly check our uh, active effects on the Fortify Magicka. That's not it. I want to check our active effects because see how now we see the actual uh, the actual stat obviously now being applied with the Necromage perk. So it's 62% better. Sneaking is 62% better as well. Pickpocket, 62% better. I'm really interested to see what the i'm really interested to see where is it what our destruction is like there it is fortified destruction so 37 percent less to cast and then 37 percent less to cast so yeah as i said around about 65 percent so not 65 sorry about 74 it's 74 percent less to cast all destruction spells which also as i've said before has an effect on our enchantments on our bow so our bow will also uh it it, it will lose charge very very slowly now something i also want to do real quick is because we have a bow and we don't have 100 percent fortify destruction or anything now because obviously we are missing our Daedric armor set at what was that? Okay, good time to test this out. Some Dawn Guards. Some Dawn Guard peeps. Okie dokie. Come on. One of you show yourselves. One of you show yourselves. I'm keen to try this out. So, boom. That didn't work out. Boom. There we go. Look at that damage. That is insane damage. Zero perks in archery. Zero perks in archery. Legendary difficulty, people. Zero perks in archery. Legendary difficulty. My goodness, could you imagine if we just put like a couple perks into our bow, just getting some 20% increases in damage, and then if like if we put some perks into sneak, getting some like sneak damage off, we would just be monumental. We would literally one-shot dragons, I think, with a bow, which is just crazy. It is just insane. And we're not even using the strongest arrows. Like if I wanted to, I could go and get like dragon bone arrows or whatnot. Daedric Oh, stop moving. Some Daedric arrows, and we would just be monsters. We would be unstoppable. Stop moving. There we go. Look at this damage, and look at that charge. It's barely going down. As I said, barely, barely, barely going down. It hasn't even moved, actually. I don't even think it's going down. If it is going down, it is going down incredibly slow. I think it's like 87 charges I had for this bow. Like 87, 87 charges, which I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like 87 shots I can take with it before I need to recharge it or anything. So, yeah, crazy. <laughs> did she just like phase through the rock? Where did she go? Here she is. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Now, I'm going to go in. Whoops. I'm going to go in and get some uh, soul gems from my little chest, my little chesty poo uh, in there. And, um, yeah, we will see. Yeah, sorry. It kind of, I kind of am just a bit pale. Ah, nothing. You already gave me 42,000 septums. You are doing a great job. Don't let me interrupt you at all. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. It seems to be working. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's go and just grab a few soul gems out because, uh, we'll grab some commons. Yeah. I put all these back because I was like, I'm never going to use these. Blah, blah. Uh, but it turns out we might actually use them now that we have this bow. Depending on whether or not it actually even, like... I probably should... Instead of fortify health, I probably should have gotten, like, health regeneration or something, right? That probably would have been really useful. Oh, well. 
Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We are strong as anyway. Um, now, let's... Nothing, nothing. Don't worry. Now, let's get out our little horse here. Summon Daedric Horse. Let's get out Nightmare. My goodness. I just love... I've never really gone for a light armor set look, but just having this armor set with the enchantments it has, I'm I'm just I'm just in love with it. I'm so, I'm having such a great time. Now, oh, I was gonna do something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna quickly apply favorite that, and then go and find it. In, no, stop fat fingering. There we go. And then I'm going to find it in here, and this is going to be the new 8, where the champion's cludgel once was. And where is everything else? Yeah, that's all looking okay, all looking fine. I'm not even using half of those spells anymore, but, you know, I don't really need to move them or change them or do anything with them. Okie dokie, so let's get out our bow again, put that on our back, and let's ride Nightmare. Now... We are going to be getting straight into... And this is why, by the way, this is uh, Return to Colbjorn. No, we're not doing that just yet. Uh, no, not that just yet. Yes, we will have a look see at this. Now, where is he at? Uh, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, the reason why I wanted to actually do this... What's the best way to get there? Probably by traveling to Winterhold, I would say. Okie dokie. Yeah, we'll travel to Winterhold. What's close up from here? Mark Arthur or Whiterun? They're both pretty, we're both like in the center of both. It's probably a flatter, more straightforward run to Whiterun though. So I'm going to see if I can put down a custom marker, please. Just about there. That'll do. Okie dokie. Yeah, so we are going to get on with the Thieves Guild quest now because that, 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 because I want to. <laughs> but that is why that right there is like, okay, why do I have multiple quest markers out? What's uh, what's what do I have activated? My goodness, so I mean, speak with speak to Tornilia about exchanging a piece of armor. Uh, don't really need to, to be honest. <laughs> don't really need to. I don't even know where my Thieves Guild armor set is. I probably just threw it away. Got literally no idea where I put it. <laughs> it's, it's in a chest somewhere. Uh, and probably not of any use to us anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of the reason. This is also the reason why I didn't want to... You know, I could have, as I said, you know, done a lot more cut-ins and been like, hey, this is what I'm doing now. Or, or just not cut it at all and just been like taking you guys through the whole process. But that, that genuinely, that whole process would have been like a couple episodes worth of content running back and forth everywhere. Oh no, I need an iron ingot. Time to run all the way to right, time to run all the way to white run and then back again. Like there's just, yeah, it, it just would not have been worth it for the video content. Like it would have been a lot of me just, you know, chatting about and talking and whatnot. And effectively not doing any quests or anything just like managing my inventory and um managing my inventory and like figuring out what enchantments i want and min maxing and like not only would that have been like probably two whole episodes worth of released content so what's that like a hundred and no not a no about 80 minutes worth of just watching me like sort my life out in skyrim um and then on top of that, it probably would have been even longer again because... So that it, for me, it took about probably an hour and a bit to get all that stuff done. So if I were to try and do that while taking a video of it as well, like everything would have just happened monumentally slower as well because I would have not only just been thinking or concentrating on the task at hand... Is that a dragon? If that is a dragon, let me bend will you right now. Where are you, my friend? Where are you? I... I I, I saw my screen shake, and I feel like I might have heard a little flutter of some wings. Oh, you're right there. Come on. Come back. Please, come back. <laughs> you're such an easy way to fast travel. And he's gone. Oh, well. Yeah, so if I had have, if I had have decided to be like, no, I won't cut it out. I'll just keep it in the video. It'll be all good. Yeah, it would have been, as I said, for me, it took like 80 minutes real time. It would have been probably more than 80 minutes just because my attention span would have been being stretched, like my attention would have been being pulled everywhere from, hey, I got to make sure I'm talking. Hey, do I want to do it this way? Hey, do I want this enchantment here? Hey, do I want that enchantment there? Hey, do I want to do this set of armor or this set of armor? Hey, do you want to do this or do you want to do that? Oh, okay, we need an iron ingot. Let's run all the way to white run. Okay, now we need this as well. Let's go all the way over here. Oh, we need this. Okay, I'll make sure I grab this. And 
Yeah, and there would have been even more back and forth than what there already was, just because, as I said, my attention would have been being pulled left left and right and center, and it would have been all over the place, all over the shop. Would have been incredibly inefficient. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, basically, that was a very long-winded way, as I always love to do, long-winded explanations. <laughs> It was a very long-winded way of basically trying to... Just trying to get across, like, how it is from my point of view when I'm thinking about these episodes and how I want to create them and what I want to push out. Basically, yeah, it, it's just a long, very long-winded way to say that that's not the... I didn't want to release three episodes worth of... And today, we are going to be enchanting the armor. And today, we are going to be improving the armor. And today, we're going to be doing this because I forgot this and we have to go over there to get this and then we have to do this. And yeah, it wouldn't have been good. I wouldn't have been satisfied with it. Hey, at least you're Need at least you can you know, catch on to the the obvious threat that I am. I'd like to hire Where your you carriage. Go? Uh, let's go to Winterhold. I would go Windhelm, but then we have to cross that river, and there's just that little that little and we'll be off. chance of us like dipping our toes in the water and then getting ahead. frostbite and then dying and yada yada yada. Oh my goodness, the dragon bone. I mean, dragon scale armor looks so nice. It looks so nice. And I got a black screen. Please don't be crashing, Skyrim. You're definitely crashing. Terrific. Uh, where was the last autosave? Give me one second. Oogly doogly, you guys. Uh, we, uh, we've we just basically... <laughs> that whole trip to Whiterun we did was basically useless. It, it autosaved once I left the house after picking up the grand... Uh, the, the soul gems to recharge my bow. So all I had to do was basically re-favorite my bow and assign it back to the number eight key but i'm not gonna make you guys watch me travel all the way back to white run again so we'll uh, i'll see you when we get there and here we are we are right back where we were before the where game crashed we'll gotta love the skyrim <laughs> so let's go to winter hold please please don't crash again skyrim in fact i am saving right here there is no way i'm making that trip all over again okie dokie bada bing bada boom yeah, it's just terrible. It's crazy how hot it is getting in Skyrim. It's never really hot in Skyrim. I'm actually always cold. Don't know what you're talking about. Okie dokie, so we're here now. We are about on the verge of dying because we are very cold. We are drained. We are famished. Let's quickly run into the inn here and uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do a little, uh, you know, a little, 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 uh, little, little, uh, little, uh, little, uh, little uh, Nom 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 noms. Just a just a little nom 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 noms. Just a just a little just a tiny wee little nom 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 noms. Now you can't see me right because I am I have crazy sneak enchantments going right now. Like I am I don't have any perks, but like I am insanely hard to detect. I should be insanely hard to detect. What is going on? Why? Why how can you detect me? Okay, I'm gonna quick save. Now, if I do go feed, does this count as me, like, moving and him seeing me all of a sudden or not? No. Good. Perfect. Let's do this a couple times. Your vampiric powers recede as you feed. You are well fed. We're just going to go one more time because why not? Why not? Right. And then bada bing, bada boom. Pickpocket, you have nothing. Okie dokie. Fair enough. We're going to... We're going to... There's anything you need. Just let me know. There's nothing I need. In fact, you don't even know I'm here, you fool. Okay, 90% chance to steal. I'm still going to save scum. <laughs> I'm still going to save scum, but we're going to go bang, and then bang, and then bang, and then bang. Because now we have, like, crazy good pickpocket chance. There's no real need for me to save scum in between every single one. So I probably won't do that. I'll just save at the start, and then just kind of ransack them as I walk, as I walk through their inventory. Right. Down in the building. Of course, and you can't actually see me, can you? No, of course not, because I'm completely hidden. I'm a master of stealth. Let's see what I can take from you. Uh, let's go. You have oh! against Skyrim and her people. What say you and your I have nothing to say in my. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Why would I ever pick that one? That? <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I'm just going to do. This and then this, and we'll just be back to where we started here. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go bang, 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 bang. Thanking you. Now, I might just leave the guards alone because we'll get plenty of pickpocket 
skill ups now. I don't really need to force it. I'll just like every so often I'll stop off and just uh, just pickpocket someone. Don't really need to force it, as I said. Uh, let's quick save here. Why yeah, here? why would that happen? No I know I just said I'm not going to do it, but I kind of really want to do it. <laughs> I really, really, really want to do it. So we'll go bang. There we go. And steel dagger. Bang. There we go. And the hunting bow. Should I go for it? Should I go for it? The third time's a charm. Could that be third time unlucky here? <laughs> Boom. There we go. Perfecto mundo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through and uh, we'll just go... Bang. Don't need it. Don't want it. Bang. Don't need it. Don't want it. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you for the skill up. You can pick. You can take your stuff back, by the way. I'm not really interested in hanging on to it. I just really want to get my pickpocket up. Thank you. Bye. And oh my goodness, our hands are... Ch our, our forearms are like chunky as with these gauntlets on. I love the look of it. But in any case, let's uh, let's start making our way to Snowvale Sanctum. Snowvale Sanctum. Oh man, we are so kitted out. I'm, you guys are gonna, you're gonna non-stop hear me talking about how kitted out and how good we are going because it's just it brings me so much happiness to see this kind of progression. Where, as I've said so many times, and I'm, and I mentioned it in my review video for Skyrim, like my take on what Skyrim is, just that you can do and be whatever you want. There is no big hard and fast roadblock saying no, you cannot do this. No, you cannot do that. That's interesting. I haven't seen a Dawn Guard come in on a horse before. Sa Salia, hey? Okay, Dakey, you're uniquely named and you've piqued my interest, so it's time to die. <laughs> let's get out our bow. Bada bing. And let's go boom. And then let's go boom. I'm actually keen to see who you are. Yeah, even as I... Oh, my goodness. Even to this day, as I've mentioned many times, in this playthrough, even outside of this playthrough... Like I've got a, I've got, I'm doing like another playthrough outside of this playthrough, believe it or not, <laughs> and where I'm just kind of running around doing my own thing. And there's like all these little things that I'm seeing happen in the game that I've still never seen ever. Dawn Guard cash key. Dawn Guard orders Salia, gold pickpocket, uh, gold necklace. Don't really need it. Also, by the way, I dropped off so many pickpockets. I mean, pickpockets, lock picks. I had like 180 lock picks. I got so much carry weight back just by dropping off like 150 of them. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's have a read of who this is. So we already had that other random encounter with the uh, Dawn Guard person who was considered incompetent. Let's see who this person is. Salai. In the past several weeks, all of the couriers sent to replenish our supply caches in the northern reaches have gone missing. These drops must be made within a week to ensure our operatives have the provisions they need. You are to restock the following caches in Morthal, in the is in the islet due east of the mill, outside Night Gate Inn, at the foot of the pier, near Winterhold, under the Great Arch. Take care. Too many of our agents have been lost on this task already. And I'm almost certain, like, if I actually go to these places, is there, like, actually stuff there? I don't even know. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to look up who Salia who uh, is after this video. In fact, I'm going to make a note real quick because I've got a book and pen next to me now. Look up who Salia is. Okay, so I'm going to look her up because, uh, yeah, I looked up the other person who came from the Dawn Guard, who was a bit of a, a bit of a, a uh, uh, he was a bit of a Zarnov in the fact that he 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 loved the good old coward strategy. <laughs> Where he just he was a bit uh, he was a bit of a weaker a weaker enemy basically, and um, yeah, he had like his own little story that he spawns in after you've done some of the Dawn Guard quests and whatnot and all that. And it was interesting. And there's also other things that I've run into too. Like literally just the other day in one of my other playthroughs, I was kind of running around and there was this student mage who just approached me. And I've never had it happen before, but I don't know what the prerequisites are to have them approach you. But like... Yeah, they uh, uh, something will happen in a game. I presume you join the College of Winterhold or after you become the Archmage of the College of Winterhold. But then just randomly, a student Breton or just a student can spawn and they'll ask you if you can help them with some spells and they'll ask you to put up like a great award or just a ward in general and they'll test some spells out on you and then at the end of it, they'll say, hey, thank you or whatever and they'll proceed on their way. And it's just like, my goodness, this is cool. And my goodness, there are a lot of Dawn Guard out and about just... Are they, like, literally hunting for me or something? Like, what have I done to get so many Dawn Guards spawning? I feel like I've encountered heaps in, the in like, these last few episodes. Even just in this episode, I've encountered heaps. But, uh, yeah. 
There's just so many things in Skyrim. Whoa, hey there, big horse, big horse. And there's a bear there. You guys ought to hate each other. You guys should be going at each other, not after me. Yeah, there's just so many things in Skyrim. I just, I, you just can't get sick of this game. My goodness, nightmare. This is not looking good for us. This is looking, this is looking like some mighty, mighty risky ankle breaking, knee cap breaking territory. Please don't, uh, please. Do your thing as a great horse, as the great horse that you are, and just take the brunt of all of it and ensure me some safe passage down. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a sheer cliff. I thought for sure something was going to go wrong. Now, where is... what? Where? Oh my goodness. Th that... Oh... <sighs> <sighs> Because of the autosave and because the game crashed, it's done this to me where I didn't turn off this quest marker and I didn't put on the right quest marker. So I've completely... I was like, this is... I'm running to Windhelm right now. This is not the place. Oh my goodness. Now I've just run all the way down this mountain. Is there a way to get back up there? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Skyrim, thank you so much. That's that's exactly what I wanted to do, in fact, Skyrim. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, the good news is we do have our horse, Nightmare, so we can go for a bit of a dip in the water just to get around. The bad news is, obviously, is just going to take a lot more time because horses aren't the fastest swimming creatures. And hopefully, if I do this jump right, we can just go... Huh! Uh, uh, jump, 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 jump. Get up there, Nightmare. Okay, you're not going to get up there. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. But hey, at least we're not going to be getting ridiculously cold and dying super quickly all of a sudden. Looks like we might be because we're going underwater. Nightmare, please get back above water because I just saw my health just plummet down and that's got me scared. I really, really, really need to get into an interior space, I think. Uh, you are numb. Yeah, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good at all. This has actually got me extremely, extremely worried. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. This has not turned out well for me. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can barely see a thing. I need to get into an interior spot very, very soon. Nightmare, you need to get up this ice. You can't, you can't be mucking about here now. You cannot be mucking about here now. I cannot afford to get off you and actually drop into the water myself. I just need you just to, just to walk up. Just to walk up this little bit of ice. Okie dokie, I guess you don't want to do it. Can you get up this, please? Just just get up something. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. It's doing, we're doing better, we're doing better, we're doing better. We're doing better, we're doing better. Let's get into an interior space. Oh my goodness gracious me. In here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm moving so slow. Argonian assemblage. Uh, no. No, you cannot. I mean, maybe. Can I get warm on this fire? Oh, God. Goody, goody, goody. Now, am I trespassing? Please don't tell me I'm trespassing. Good. And uh, by the way, guys, this is just another thing. I don't think I've ever really spent the time to go and see this Argonian place. Lords, Argonians and Dark Elves and Windhelm got along better. You need to leave. Excuse you. Oh, my goodness. Man. This... I love this game. That Seeing that right there, just by itself has made me so excited for the 100% playthrough because it has there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that they there is probably a quest to do with them to to, to I don't know what they're doing in there I don't know what I don't know what their story is but the thing is that that I absolutely love about this game is that they probably have a story there's probably something going on with them and that is just so awesome okay oh I can just never get enough of this game. As I said, even now, I am now super, super excited. I've been, I've been excited for the, 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 even before something, even before things like that were making themselves apparent in this playthrough. I've been excited and been already talking about with you guys about doing the hundred percent playthrough next, which will be happening. No, 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 no. Oh, nightmare. I just wanted to get stamina back real quick. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Nightmare number two, let nightmare number one do all that. You, you, you're coming with me. We need to get to the Snowvale Sanctum. I just need to get there. At least, at least in this episode, I need to get to the Snowvale Sanctum. I've been doing so much running around. The actual amount of footage in this video from all the running around I've been doing to get this armor set and all that done compared to what's going to be published on YouTube is just, <laughs> there is no comparison. <laughs> I just want to, after all the gameplay I've done, 
just in real time, in real life time, I just want to get to Snowvale Sanctum. And it's just like, it's just like as soon as I got everything done, Skyrim just started putting these little hurdles in place. Like, okay, now the game's going to crash. Okay, we're going to put a dragon, we're going to spawn a dragon in, but this will be the one dragon that won't actually attack you. How great's that? You happy? You should be happy. <laughs> Okie dokie, Snowvale Sanctum, Mercer Frey. Indeed, I am. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. Oh, very good. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Oh, you gave her, like a little slap, moving. and now it's uh. Catch her inside while she run off and all that. Take the lead. You want me to lead? I'm sorry. I was under the impression I was in charge. Oh, it's a fair mistake to make. Does that seem clear to you? Oh, I want better dialogue options here. My goodness, how dare you say that to me? Are you aware of who I am? Do you see the dragon scale armor? It's not going to be, do you see the Daedric armor anymore? It's going to be, do you see the dragon scale armor? <laughs> Understood, Mercer Frey. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. Uh -huh. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Okie dokie. How did Gallus die? 25 years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. So Kalia took on both of you alone? Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away. You from have the a heart? <laughs> That's that a knee slapper. The bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. I can see how it pains you in your face. It must have been terrible. This Carlia person look just sounds awful. What happened to uh, what happened after Gallus died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus's former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Indeed. Wow, that was actually a really good amount of dialogue for all that, like, perfectly explaining the history and what Kali has done and where he fits in all this and who Gallus was. That was awesome. I had no idea there was actually so much from memory. I will not. So what did you do with that horse? Did you just, like, give it a smack on the bum just so, you know, a smack on the hindy just so it would run away and that's how she's not able to use it? That's what you did, right? Right? You didn't do anything else, did you? Like, this, this seems like this could be where Kalia was camping. So, yeah, her horse is probably camped up here, and you probably just... Oh, my goodness gracious me. Potion of Brief Invisibility. I'm just going to quickly loot the horse that I'm about to make uh, Mercer look terrible for killing. But, I mean, you probably didn't need to kill it. It's just the horse. It's not... <laughs> You know, I understand what you're doing, I understand you're upset, what she's done is horrible, but you don't need to do something like that, Mercer, jeez, you know, just because you, just because she's a bad person doesn't mean you need to be a bad person, okay? In any case, we're going to jump inside because it is cold out here. Oop, this lock cannot be picked, it requires a key to open. Well, how are we going to get in there, Mercer? Where are you? How are we going to get in there? Do you have a solution? Please tell me you have a solution because it's pretty cold out here and I'm going to die. I'm going to need you to come down the stairs. 
I'm gonna need you to come down the stairs. I don't even have stamina to knock him to knock him into and I don't even have the magicka to knock him and get him working. Um what is it? I just need That's you to this unnecessary chat. Yeah. I, need to keep going. I agree. Let's keep going. There we go. Good stuff. Now, there seems to be a problem here with the with they the They say that these ancient Nordic Ooh. burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Yeah, it's locked. Mm, this one doesn't look too difficult. I mean, I couldn't do it. What am I Quite on? Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how and a lot of skill. That should do it. I don't know what it is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how and a lot of skill. Like saying you don't know what it is about these locks because they're so easy and then immediately saying that you need a lot of skill and bolstering your own self-importance. Okie dokie, buddy. Okie dokie. You're something else. <laughs> Okie dokie. Enter the Snowvale Sanctum completed. Find Kalaya. Now, that is going to have to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and leave any comments below. Any recommendations, or just stop by to say good day because I promise I'll respond to everyone because I absolutely love the interactions. But most of all, regardless of whether or not you do anything I have just asked, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.